الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد اعلم رحمك الله may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy upon you I want you to know that there are four things that every Muslim should know. إِنَّهُ يَجِبُ عَلَيْنَا أَن تَعَلَّمْ أَرْبَا مَسَاعِلْ There are four things every Muslim should know. الْأُولَى الْعِلْمِ The first thing is knowledge. Who knows what knowledge is? Information, okay, mashallah, tabarakallah. That's good. What about Islamic knowledge? What would that be about? About what? The religion, okay. So, here's what one of the great shaykhs, his name was Shaykh Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab, rahimahullah ta'ala, he said, I'lam rahimakullah, innuhu yajibu alayna ta'allam arba masail al-ul al-ilm. He said that the first thing is knowledge, and then he defined what knowledge is. He said, Al-ilm huwa ma'rufat Allah, ma'rufat al-Nabi, wa ma'rufat al-Deen al-Islam bi adillah. So it's those things that you're going to be asked in the grave. He said the first thing, knowledge means knowing Allah, knowing who Allah is, knowing who the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is, and knowing the religion of Islam with the adillah. What this means, that every Muslim should know who Allah is to worship Him properly. You have to know Tawheed. You need, you need to know that Allah is the Lord. Who's the one who created you? Allah. And who is the one who gives you risk, who gives you provisions? Naam. It's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And who is the one who created everything and is the owner of everything and, to, and everything and causes everything to die and everything to come to life? Who is that? It's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's lordship, al rububiya and the second thing is knowing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by his uh, uluhiyah. Meaning that Allah is the only one worthy of worship. That when you pray, when you fast, when you make hajj, when you make umrah, it's all for Allah. And it's all to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the third aspect of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's tawheed, of the knowledge that every Muslim should have, is know that Allah has divine names and attributes. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is al hayyul Al Qayyum. Okay, that and, and, and he is Al Razak, that he has divine names and attributes. He provides. He is Ar Rahman and Ar Rahim. That's who Allah is. Those are his divine names and his attributes. He is the one who gives mercy, the most merciful. He is the one who sustains. He's the provider. He's the one who gives us our rizq. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. So though that's the first thing every Muslim should know. They should know about Allah. And they should also have ilm about who the Prophet ﷺ is. That the Prophet ﷺ, he died, he was 63 years old. ﷺ. The Prophet ﷺ, he was uh, Arab. He was born in Mecca. He was an orphan. That he ﷺ, he fought jihad fi sabilillah. That he, alayhi salatu wasalam, he gave the message of Tawheed. That he, he did that uh, as all the prophets, alayhi salatu wasalam. The Quran was revealed to him. All these things are knowledge that we have to know about the prophet, alayhi salatu wasalam. And the third thing is knowing the religion of Islam with Adillah. Like you guys, mashallah, tabarakallah, you're memorizing the Quran. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve you and bless you to memorize the whole Quran. Hafizakum Allah. But you have to know the meaning. You have to know what it means. Not just memorizing, but you need to know the meaning. Tafsir. And know the meaning of the verses and everything. All that's knowledge of Allah. Then the second thing is knowledge. Uh, uh, all that's knowledge of uh, Islam, the Prophet, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then the second thing that every Muslim should know Al-ilm, 
Ma'rufat Allah, Ma'rufat Nabi, Ma'rufat Deen al-Islam bi adillah, Athani al-Amal bi. So once you have that knowledge, you have to practice your knowledge. That means you have to get up and pray Fajr on time. Because you know that it's, it's, it's an obligation. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has make it, made it a commandment uh, for us to pray uh, five times a day. So you need to make sure you pray in the time of Salat and you pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then the... So you, you have to practice the knowledge that you have. Then the third thing is that you give da'wah. Once you have knowledge and you're practicing it, you need to share that with other people. Athalatha da'wah tu ilay, meaning that you give da'wah to other people. So you have to give da'wah and, and share the message of Islam to your family that's not Muslim. You have to give the message of Islam to even other Muslims, other Muslims who are not practicing and who don't really understand Islam, you have to share the knowledge that you gain. And the last thing is being patient, that when you're given da'wah, you have to be patient because many people are not going to listen. Some people are even going to try to hurt you when you're trying to share the message of Islam with them as they tried to hurt the Prophet. They tried to kill him, alayhi salatu wasalam, as they tried and they killed some of the Prophets, alayhim afdo salatu wasalam. So those are those very important things and, and all of that is in Surah Al-Asr. All of that you'll find in Surah Al-Asr when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَالْعَصَرْ إِنَّ الْإِنسَانَ لَفِي خُسْرِ إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ وَتَوَسُّوا بِالْحَقِّ وَتَوَسُّوا بِالصَّبْرِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, By the time verily mankind is in a loss, except those who have iman, those who believe, and do righteous deeds, and they call to the truth, and they call to be patient. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us all with ilm nafi, ruskan tayyib, wa amilu mutaqabbilan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.